It's Claire Sporty, and you're watching my weekly blog for my brand story. As always, I'm here to help you build a truly authentic business and brand that will connect. Today, I'm just going to talk a little bit about marketing jargon. I know I like to avoid it, but some things you just need to know. And like when you know, you know, and you're in, you're in the gang, you're in the no gang. And you know, you hear people talk about you. Like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I'm just going to give you a bit of insight on that. Uh, whether you're a marketer or not, really my, my program here, the vlog, is all about people that aren't particularly marketers, but understand and recognize the importance of marketing and branding, especially for a, for a successful business. Now, I'm not sure if you've heard this, but a lot of people, or I'm caught out saying it a lot with my clients, and it becomes quite funny because we'll walk down the street and we'll be like, on brand, off brand, on brand, off brand. And it just becomes this thing that once you know what it means, you just can't help but say it when referring to brands. You can also refer to yourself. We joke about that as well, but that's beside the point. Want to know what on brand means? Okay, so on brand. Obviously, we know what brand is. You must know that by now. Your, your business's personality. What is it that is inside of it? The makings of the, all the good juicy bits of it. All of that that makes it what it is, a unique brand. What makes you a unique person? What makes you a unique brand? I have talked about this before. They are one and the same. A brand is your business's personality. Simple. So to understand your business's brand, there's a few things you need to do, but to understand what on brand means is referring to is that does that fall in line with my business and my brand and my direction? You know, having a true understanding of the DNA and what makes your business and brand tick. Business owner, if you're a business owner, you are lightning bolts ahead, lightning streets streets ahead of people that aren't business owners purely because it's your baby and you started it and a bit of your DNA is also in your brand. It's just the way it is, which is great because it makes it so much easier for you to build a direction and know what's on brand. So with that in mind, it's really ultimately having a true understanding of what makes your business unique and what makes it work and what makes it exist. So when we say, uh, is that on brand? What we're truly asking is, does that fall in line with my brand? Is that a friend? Is that a friend of the brand or a foe? On or off brand, friend or foe? There's really, mm, trying to think, is, it in, is there any in the middle? I guess there could be, but really it's more about Black and white, on and off. Is it on or off brand? Like when you're going shopping. Is that me? No. Me? No. Hmm. Me. Same with brands. And it can apply to anything to do with your brand. So whether it be colours, a logo type, a partnership. If you're looking for a collaboration, are they on brand? No. You know, meeting each other at the exactly the same point. Um, looking at suppliers, if you're looking at products for your business, are they the suppliers coming to you on brand? Do they meet your brand values? Do they meet what you're about as a brand, brand person? What is that? So thinking really deeply about that. And it's not, it's something that is definitely in your gut, but there are processes, processes in place that can help you make this a black and white decision. My brand pack. But that's beside the point. We're talking about on brand today. On brand really is thinking about suppliers, distributors, anything that touches your business, whether it even come down to the chairs in your office, the color of the wall in your retail space, the blow dryer that you use for your hairdresser. Every single thing. Does that fall in line with brand? Is it on brand? off brand and it's quite interesting and you can probably get a good idea of looking at it in your social media because they're things that you know whether they be your images or shared images they're on or off brand anyway I'm deviating going that's more about how to find it 
So do you get it? On brand, off brand. This, my BKR, it's on brand for me. I love this product. I not only love the packaging, but I love that it's a glass bottle. It fits the functionality. It looks great, great color, and I can just take it everywhere. For me, on brand. Why do you think I put it here? Other things on brand for me, look, you might notice a new painting that I have here. It's from a good friend of mine and a colleague that I do a lot of collaborations with, Lulu from a seat collector. She's a photographer. She took this photo when she was in Amsterdam. I uh, love MGs. She's doing a whole range of prints now. Get on her website if you are into them because they're beautiful and if they're on brand. So I had to have one. So I put this up here. And for me, Amsterdam is a favorite city for me. And I love the interiors. And I also have an MG just like this. But mine is a terracotta color. Not quite as beautiful. I want to do mine this color. But there's things in here, these brands, these books that I have here, they're on brand. For me, I align with these brands. Every other thing that, you know, I talk about, my MacBook Pro, it's on brand. I'm proud of having that align with me. I don't like Acer. I don't know why, but I like Mac and I like the way it works. Not just, not just the functionality, but the brand. So on and off brand. Have a think about it and have a think about what you do and what your thoughts of what are on and off brand for you. I guess now you're asking, okay, I understand what on and off brand is, but how can you do this for your business? Ultimately, consistency is key. And it's about being true and authentic to your brand. Then consistency will happen. So number one, being authentic, working out what you stand for. That is what your brand is all about and what makes you, you. Find that out, write that down. It can be simple. Actually, next week we delve further into the who, what, where, and why, and that will connect back to the on brand. But think about what you are. And then the second point is what consistent, consistent ways or actions that you can then replicate this. So you can action this, sorry. So what is it looking like on your Instagram? What is it looking like in your shop? What is it looking like on your website? What are you looking like? What is your presentation like? Every single touch point needs to be consistent and on brand. So people start getting a good idea of what your brand stands for without you having to tell them. It's a subliminal thing. This on and off brand is very subliminal and it is subjective because it's on your own opinion on what fits in with your brand. And it makes things easier when you know because it is black and white. You can make decisions like yes, no, no on brand, off brand. And the third point is review. You should always be reviewing everything that comes to your business and making sure if it's on or off brand. So understanding who, what, why, and when. Second point is be consistent in the way that you are actioning everything in your business. And the third point is reviewing all your actions to find out if it's on or off brand. Often, to be honest, if you understand your brand and it's a brand that comes from you and your own person and your own aha moment, then your on off brand will fit very, very nicely. My biggest tip is don't try and force something. I think people often do get caught up with thinking that something's going to work really well because for some reason, but it's not quite right. If it's not quite right, let it go. Only work with things that you're truly proud of and you want to scream to the world that you're partnering with it. That, my friend, is on brand. If you're a little bit embarrassed, you know, there's some parts of my business I'm like, oh, I could do this. If there are things that you're not proud of, change them. Change them because they aren't on brand. There is a little voice inside of you saying, off brand, off brand, make it on brand. I'm trying to think about when you look at, if you, if you go into a business and you go, oh, that doesn't fit. You know, oh, that doesn't really work. And I don't know if it's me as a marketer, but I'm sure every person has gone into a shop or seen a website or you've heard, uh, the perfect example is you meet someone, you see their Instagram, you're like, oh my gosh, they sound amazing, they look amazing. You get on the website, like, ooh, that doesn't match. It's not consistent. It's off brand. You need to make sure that everything's on brand and everything you associate with, collaborations, all of the lot. And that's it. On brand. After this vlog, have a look around and see what's on brand with your business. 
And if it's not, see ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now you're off, off brand. Tell them nicely that they're off brand. And they may not even know what it means that you say, I can only align with on brand products, people, because that's going to make my brand stronger. And that's the goal to make your business and your brand stronger, more successful, and therefore you're more proud of it. So that's me today talking about on and off brand. If you like, you know, want to know more about what this on and off brand is, want to know more about who, what, where, and why, pop over to my website, mybrandstory.me. I have a five week brand course. It helps you build an authentic brand. And it starts from the who, what, where, and why right through to your mission statement, your target market. All of this in a nice little pack. And it gives you this clarity of really nailing and identifying what's on brand. Pop over now, check it out. If you like this vlog, please share with friends, share the love. Anyone else that you want to share your knowledge with, now you know what on brand is. Share it on. I'm going to wrap it up with stay true. This is perfect, actually. Stay true to your brand story because what you have to offer, nobody else does. And that is on brand. I'm Claire Spalding, and thanks for watching. See you next week.